Okay. To be perfectly clear, I'm not here for a free meal, Thanksgiving dinner or otherwise. I was just hired at GH. From what I understand, you're going to pay me pretty well, so that's not why I'm here. Why are you here? Because my father was really fond of poor Charles. Even though poor Charles was never really fond of my father. Scott, grandfather's will was probated years ago. Your client may be related by blood, but he has no legal standing to be at this meeting. Well, I got a little news flash for you, Ned. His legal standing has just gone up a notch. How do you figure? I'm contesting my grandfather's will. A judge will decide my rights. Not you or any of the other quartermates. Hold. What, what grounds do you have to challenge a will that's already been probated? Hey, Austin, let me handle this. Okay. All right. All your attorneys will be copied, but I filed papers today challenging Edward Quartermain's decision to give certain family members shares and other family members nothing. That was his right. Please, it doesn't have to be fair. This is family. Just ask my grandmother. All he left her was a jar of pickle lila relish. Oh, I'd like to hear more about that. Okay, enough about the pickles. Okay, those were his wishes, and we've all been abiding by him. You, you can't just come in here and change things. Spoken like a true child of privilege. Well, this family isn't changing for you. Okay, look, we'll have the documents checked out, and then we'll go from there. It won't matter. The will is ironclad. Excuse me. Uh, ordinarily, I love watching you all savage yourselves, but I am CEO and I can not allow these proceedings to continue if there's any confusion over who holds a vote and how much vote they have. I'm telling you, he doesn't have any votes. Well, either way, it would be irresponsible to continue with a vote if we don't know who bears how much voting share. It would leave the company wide open to all sorts of uh, legal outcomes, and I'm not going to let that happen, not on my watch. What kind of steward would that make me? Wait, wait, is, is, is he correct about this? He's not entirely wrong. So, I say this meeting is adjourned. Good day, everyone. Well, for once, I agree with Valentine. We can't pass judgment until we have all the facts. As for the melodrama, even if it is kind of a family tradition. Really? What do you know about the Quartermain family traditions? <laughs> Whatever it is, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> You're Olivia. Right? Mm. I saw you at the Metro Court. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, don't mistake my friendliness for being on your side. Okay, this is my family. I'm your family, too. Mm, remains to be seen. Please understand. I I'm not here to take anything away from any of you. I'm just here for vindication for my father and to take my rightful seat at the table. Spencer. I expect you to just hand over the keys to the kingdom. But I do hope that the next time we see each other, that it's a little easier. Because there's going to be a next time. You know, it used to make me really sad that I didn't know my grandfather. That I didn't know what it felt like to be in a home like this. And I really look forward to getting to know you and spending some time with you. Because we're family, right? <laughs> <laughs>